When they wanted us to renounce our faith, in the camp, they put us all in icy water, both priests, bishops, and lay Christians. It happened in the north. They left us in that terrible cold, and guards were placed with dogs. The guards changed shifts, and we stood quietly and prayed. The Lord helped, and I recited the Jesus prayer in my mind. I held on to it and to the prayer of the Mother of God continuously, and suddenly I felt warm. We tried to get closer to each other, but how? We knew we would soon go to the Lord. Some wisely recited the Psalms. No one could speak. The cold was so severe that people could not breathe. Those who stiffened first started to sink into the water. We cried. Martyr souls flew to the throne of God, all martyrs. Not one of them denied the Lord. Angels descended and took them. The heavenly queen appeared to me and said, Do not abandon prayer. It will save and heal you. I prayed to the Lord to leave you on earth. You are necessary for the church of God. The grace of my son will dwell with you forever. The mother of God enveloped me in such light, warm and fiery, that I remained the only one alive. When they pulled me out of the water and brought me to the barracks, they asked, So, did your God help you? I could barely speak and answered, I believe and confess the Holy Trinity and the mother of my Lord. Then a man, an atheist, said, Pray for my daughter, she is sick. Remembering everything, the father looked through the window into the yard, unable to stop his tears, quietly crying, Mother of God, Queen of Heaven, what they did to us. We were all exhausted, barely alive. We dug holes in the snow and made shelters. We covered people with pine branches, chewed pine needles. That's how the Lord tested our faith. <laughs>